let us stand together for our opening prayer. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for everything you have done for us, everything we think of when we are quiet for a moment and look back. May all that you have done remain alive in us so that we can look forward with open, clear, seeing eyes, aware that our lives are in your hands and that you always lead us to something new, great, and glorious. We give you thanks for the accomplishments that will be recognized here today for those that have achieved excellence in so many areas of their life. Allow them, Lord, to continue on this journey with you. In your most gracious and holy name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Well, good morning and welcome to Alderson Broadus University. And welcome to this day that is a very special day for all of us. As the psalmist says, this is the day the Lord has made. And let us rejoice and be glad. Now, a week ago, I wrote some notes down and I said, isn't it a beautiful day? And it's a beautiful spring day, and we can see that the spring has finally arrived. I'm going to amend my comments today that spring used to be here, winter's coming back, and please, God, will you bring spring back again, all right? But I'm delighted to be with you today for this collective celebration of academic achievement. But I want us to stop for a moment and thank all of you, every one of you, that frankly I haven't seen a lot of in the last year. Uh, it's, been, it's been a strange experience, hasn't it? It's sort of like we've been suspended in animation. And I look out and I had a few conversations way back during move-in day about some things with one of the participants here. And that seems like about five years ago. So we've been through so much together and we've used words like with an abundance of caution and carefulness and hesitation. And yet here we are, and we're here to celebrate, and it doesn't seem to be a celebratory kind of an event, does it? But it is. I remember the day I received my doctorate, and it was at uh, uh, Northern Illinois University, and there were two hallways. The faculty was coming down one and you would meet your advisor in the middle, and together you would proceed to the commencement. And my advisor and my mentor and good friend, Bob Mason, long departed, did this. He said, slow down. This is your day. And we're all here to celebrate you. And what you've done. And so today, I want to say to all of you, this is a glorious day. And for all of the papers, the midnight cramming, the, lock, the lack of sleep, the abject depression, and the exhilaration of learning, comes today. And granted, it may be a, a trophy or it may be a piece of paper, but I can guarantee you there will be a thousand occasions
where you're going to think of today. You're going to think of that trophy or piece of paper. And you're going to realize, I did it. I did it. And no one can take that away from you. So it's a marvelous day. And as the program says, and I quote, in recognition, as we commend students who have earned distinction in their academic endeavors. And doesn't that resonate well with the mission statement? It's to provide our students with the highest quality education as we strive to prepare our students to succeed in their chosen disciplines. That's translated. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. And to fulfill your roles in a diverse society as well-rounded and responsible people. So today, this is truly the day the Lord has made. And in abundance, I thank you for your diligence, your supervision, your carefulness, your leadership, and your learning. And let us rejoice and be glad. And I, for one, on behalf of the faculty, the staff, the board of trustees, am very gladdened to be with you today. May God bless you this day. And God bless Alderson Broadus University. And we be blessed all days. Thank you. President Berry, honored students, colleagues, parents, family, faculty, and staff watching from home. Welcome to the Alderson Broadus University Honors Convocation 2021. The recognition of student achievement is central to this convocation, our 68th, emphasizing excellence in all areas of the academic community. The students receiving awards today are amongst the highest achieving hardest working, and most active at Alderson Broadus. That is evidenced today in not only the awards that will be presented, but also by the fact that unfortunately several of our award winners are unable to be here due to academic, athletic, and work responsibilities. You will find the awards that we grant listed on the left-hand page of your program. This honors convocation is one way through which we try to recognize not only outstanding achievement, but also outstanding teaching and concern for student success. Students, as your name is called, please enter from my left, receive your award, and then return to your seats from my right. And please hold all applause until students have been recognized. Yankee Old Cruz Resto, who is unfortunately unable to be in attendance today, has been named to receive the Epsilon Tau Eta Sigma Alumni Academic and Citizenship Award. This is a special recognition for a student who has been outstanding in academics, citizenship, character, leadership, and service. Lane Casto, who is also unable to attend, has been awarded the Forrest G. Clark Award, which recognizes the athlete in the senior class with the highest academic average. The Rex E. Piles Award is being awarded to Jalen McNair as the outstanding senior who is preparing to teach in the area of physical education. Jalen? The Greek Academic Achievement Award for a men's organization is an award presented to the fraternity which has the highest academic average, which must be at least 3.0. Eric Doss, fraternity president, please come forward to receive the award presented to Sigma Delta Nu.
The Greek Academic Achievement Award for a woman's organization is an award presented to the sorority, which has the highest academic average, which must be at least a 3.0. Madison Cotalupi, sorority president, please come forward to receive the award presented to Zeta Eta Theta. The Extended Learning Achievement Award is being awarded to Kaleeb Kendall, a senior in the Extended Learning Program with the highest cumulative GPA. The Mass Communication Award goes to Jose Garcia Luan for outstanding achievement in the area of communication. Jose is majoring in mass communication. Taylor Wagner, who is unable to be with us today, is receiving the Criminal Justice Achievement Award for the graduating senior criminal justice major with the highest cumulative GPA. Taylor is also the recipient of the E.W. Billings Memorial Award. This award is given to students who are preparing for leadership in a church vocation. Morgan Creamer has been named to receive the Nursing Alumni Association Award. This award is given to an outstanding senior nursing student who has demonstrated high academic achievement, clinical competence, and leadership potential. The Science, Technology, and Mathematics Research Award has been granted to Andres Luna, a student who has completed outstanding research projects. Catherine Atkins, who is unable to attend today, is the recipient of the Atkinson Memorial Award. This special recognition, awarded to a sophomore or junior in elementary education, is based on academic achievement, constructive character traits, promise in the teaching profession, and contribution to the total campus community. Ryan Smith, also unable to attend, receives the Ruth Shearer Secondary Education Award. This award is for a secondary education major with outstanding scholarship in education, coupled with high standards of character and leadership. Dr. Ruth Shearer, in whose memory the Ruth Shearer Secondary Education Award was established, played a key role in the 1954 creation of AB's Silver Key Society, as well as the concept of an honors convocation. Prior to that time, the college did not have any venue for the recognition of academic achievement. And so today, for the 68th time, the ceremony of the Silver Key will be conducted. The Society of the Silver Key dates back to the first honors convocation held in the spring of 1954. Each year since that time, students from both the junior and senior classes have been elected to membership in Silver Key. New members are chosen by current student members of Silver Key and current faculty staff members of Silver Key. To be eligible for selection into Silver Key, a student must have, first, earned a minimum of 60 semester hours of credit at Alderson Broaddus University and have achieved at the beginning of the second semester a cumulative average of at least 3.6. Second, they must have evidenced high qualities of character both on and off campus, and finally, made a significant contribution to college life through participation in student and campus activities. As we call the names of the newly elected members, we ask that you please come forward. New members for 2021 are Katherine Adkins, who's unable to attend, Emily Barker, Peyton Barr, who is unable to be with us. Haley Barr.
Sierra Bauman, who is unable to attend today. Also unable to be with us is Amber Bumbaugh. Garrett Burnside. Abigail Bush. Carolyn Cardiello. Carson Comer, who is unable to attend today. Haley Dodson. Unable to be with us today is Tiffany Hinchman, Hannah Johnson, Caitlin Jones. Rachel Lee. Zachary Lyons. <clears throat> Sydney McGinnis. Hillary Morales. Kylie Sparks. Brooke Stewart. Is 
Ifiani Ukachukwu. Amelia Walsh, who is unable to be with us today. Caroline Wilson. And finally, Caitlin Winkler, who's also unable to be here today. All members who just received your silver key, you are asked to remain at the conclusion of the ceremony and come forward later for a group photograph. The Business Writing Award is awarded to Zachary Lyons for his work titled, What is Strategy? The Humanities and Social Science Writing Award is awarded to Rachel Lee for her work titled, A Glance into the Looking Glass. COVID-19 Pandemic, Impact of COVID-19, a paper written by Kelsey Schrader was selected for the Nursing Writing Award. Ashley Booth, a biology major, receives the Science, Technology, and Mathematics Writing Award for her paper entitled, Polyphenols Extracted from Chinese Hickory Promote Apoptosis and Inhibit Proliferation Through the P53-Dependent Intrinsic and H1F-1A-VEGF Pathways in Ovarian Cancer Cells. Peyton Barr, an elementary education major, receives the Teacher Education Writing Award for her paper, Bader Case Study. Peyton is unable to attend today. At the end of each semester at Alderson Broaddus University, students who have attained a semester average of 3.6 or above are named to the Dean's List if they have carried at least 12 hours. The President's List is a special recognition for students who have been on the Dean's List for five semesters. We are pleased to announce this year's list of 30 students who have attained recognition to the President's List. We ask them to come forward to receive their certificates. Alondra Bandy. Peyton Barr, who again is unable to attend. Abigail Bender, also not in attendance today. Alex Buchheit. Garrett Burnside. Abigail Bush. Isabella Caperton. Madison Christner. Carolyn Chiardiello.
Carson Comer, who was unable to be with us today, Morgan Creamer, Myro Diallo, Haley Dodson, Michael Ginalo, Mary Griffith, Madeline Kalchik, Matthew Kearns, who is unable to be with us today, Heather Kiblinger, Jasmine Kyle, Rachel Lee, Zachary Lyons, Brissa Marshall, who is unable to be with us today, as well as Logan McCauley, who is also not in attendance, Jillian Tinney. Ifiani Ukachukwu, Amelia Walsh, who is unable to be here today, Kyle Warren, Caden Wetzel, Brendan Wilson, who's not in attendance today, Carolyn Wilson. All students who just received President's List Awards, you are also asked to remain at the conclusion of the ceremony and come forward for a group photo. This year we present certificates to six senior students who have completed the Honors Program. This program provides intellectual challenge and stimulation for academically superior students. Sierra Bauman, who is unable to be here today. Abigail Bush.
Jennifer Doth. Tiffany Hinchman, who could not be with us today. Heather Kiblinger. And finally, Taylor Wagner, who is not able to be with us today. The Business Academic Award is given to the student or students with the highest GPA in business. This year, the award goes to Sierra Bauman, who could not be here today, Lane Casto, who is not able to attend, and Tiffany Hinchman, also unable to attend. The Exercise Science Academic Award is awarded to Brooke Stewart as the senior with the highest average in exercise science. The Humanities and Social Science Academic Award goes to Carolyn Chiardiello. Also receiving the Humanities and Social Science Academic Award is Taylor Wagner, who cannot be here today, and also Carolyn Wilson. The Nursing Academic Award goes to the senior with the highest average in nursing. This year's recipient is Leslie Heyer. The Science, Technology, and Mathematics Academic Award is presented to the senior with the highest GPA in Science, Technology, and Mathematics. This year, the award goes to Heather Kiblinger. Isabella Caperton is receiving the Teacher Education Academic Award for the senior with the highest average in the areas of elementary or secondary education.
The sophomore academic award is granted to the student who has the highest GPA and has earned between 31 and 60 credits, of which a minimum of 45 credits must have been earned at Alderson Broadus University. This year, the sophomore academic award goes to Yankee Old Cruz Resto, who's unable to attend today, to Takoria Mitchell, and also to Riley Vanuk. The Junior Academic Award recognizes the students who have the highest GPA and have earned between 61 and 90 credits, of which a minimum of 60 credits must have been earned at Alderson Broadus University. This year, the Junior Academic Award is being presented to Thomas Freeman. The Senior Academic Award goes to the senior student with the highest average who will not be graduating this May. This student must have earned at least 91 credits, of which a minimum of 60 must have been earned at Alderson Broadus University. We are proud to present the Senior Academic Award to Peyton Barr and to Carson Comer. Neither of them were able to attend uh, the ceremony today because of scheduled athletic events. The Graduating Senior Academic Award goes to the graduating senior students with the highest averages. This year's recipients are Sierra Bauman, Lane Casto, Tiffany Hinchman, and Taylor Wagner. Unfortunately, none of those honorees were able to be with us here today. I'd like to offer my sincere congratulations to all persons who have received special recognition today. At this time, would all the honor students please stand and let us applaud your truly outstanding accomplishments. So. Um, as we conclude the ceremony, I have a few final reminders. Again, Silver Key and President's List honorees, please remain after and uh, eventually we'll call you down for photos here at the podium. There are also extra programs available on the table at the back of the room. So if you'd like to have extra copies to send um, to your family and your friends who weren't here today, please feel free to pick those up on your way out. Um, and if everyone would please rise for our closing benediction. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Lord God, we come seeking to find community, and we are thankful that we have found that community even here at Alderson Broadus. We ask that your truth would continue to go forward, keep us growing and learning as we step forward from here. We thank you for the recognition today and the opportunity to go forward in your name. In your most gracious and holy name we pray, amen.